Hi folks, installing Windows have been simplified if you are using War Flasher from Raspberry Pi OS. Now you have the third option and this is Raspberry Pi 5. And if you select it, uh, you can either make a self-install drive or a drive that can install Windows 11 or Windows 10 on another drive. It's now all very simple. And you also get the latest PA installer and also the latest version of Windows that works with Raspberry Pi 5. Everything is automated and actually the only thing that you have to do is in fact to wait a little bit for the windows to install to the same or to another drive and then you have to make an installation you have to enter your parameters and so on what's uh, even more interesting is that on the other hand windows and raspberry pi installer for windows 11 and windows 10 has not changed it still does not support raspberry pi 5 you have to use an old trick to simply copy UEFI BIOS, but there is one little change now, and this is that uh, you can now download a newer version of UEFI BIOS, this is 0.3, and you can override the original BIOS for Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 3. However, you want to get drivers for Raspberry Pi 5 uh, if you are installing a version for Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 3. However, you cannot install Raspberry Pi 4 version. You can also install Open 4 UEFI BIOS on War Flasher installation, but uh, I suggest that you do it after the Windows are installed because uh, otherwise I'm not sure whether the installation would start normally but uh, on the other hand uh, using a newer UEFI BIOS gives you more functionality and also enables you to use SSD drive over PCIe bus so this is new more or less uh, but it's a good thing I had hoped that there would also be support for Ethernet but it's still lacking support for it. Y5 doesn't work as well. The, this means that you have still use uh, your mobile phone or a similar modem device to connect to the internet. Otherwise, uh, it's good to know that uh, you can use a fast SSD drive over PCIe bus. This is more or less all that I wanted to say today. Uh, if you would like to test it yourself, it works like a clockwork. So this time I suggest that you use War Flasher because it's fully automated. But with War Instar you have to still change the UEFI BIOS if you want Windows to work. The details on using Windows on Raspberry Pi Flasher are available from my previous video. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, click like and subscribe button. The next video is coming soon. Bye.